It's one of the biggest sports at the Huntsman World Senior Games. Softball has become highly competitive among both men and women ages 50 and up. Yes, some couple from Southern California and one from Oregon. But it was the best in fit yesterday. This is, the, uh, I think, the 50 to 55. Teams from all over come back year after year to compete at the World Senior Games because they love the game and the team efforts. The Santa Cruz Blues Breakers are from Santa Cruz, California. I've been here uh, attending the games for 14 years, but we've been uh, representing Santa Cruz, California with the Blues Breakers for over 20 years. This year is a big comeback to softball players coming from Canada. Symbols of the red maple leaf were displayed in many fashions at both the men and women's softball complexes. This team is named the Snowbirds, and they're also glad to be back participating in the games. Well, COVID kept us away. We were supposed to come three years ago, but we at least couldn't, couldn't do it. I'm retired, the rest of them are all working, so they didn't want to take the chance. Yeah. Uh, Canada right. had some pretty strict rules about when you come back. <laughs> Yeah. If we had come down last year, we wouldn't have been allowed to come back outside the self-isolating for two weeks. Oh, you doing good so far? Nope, we're not. Uh-oh. Well, having, hang in there. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so Several Canadian teams battled it out over the last few days competing for medals. In the 50-plus blue women's division, the high-maintenance Angry Birds from Canada played Taylor Sports and came out swinging. This year we're in age uh, category 50 to 54 with the group that we're here. We're Angry Birds, high maintenance birds. So two different jerseys, but same meaning the same, we're all birds. Uh, we play a league at home in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And I'm lucky to have these people with me pretty much all of the time. The Angry Birds not only play a tough game, but manage to score a lot of runs against their competition in the first round of play Friday. Today we won 19 to 3. Yeah. 19 to 3. Our bats were on. We had a good game. Everyone played awesome. Three cheers for Taylor! Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! One for the blue! Hey! One for us! Hey! Two for the fans! Hey! Angry, angry Birds or a portion of Angry Birds have been here for the last six years playing at different divisions, whether it be 50 to 54 or 55 to 59. Um, and we, we've just recently had some of our birds from our home team have just graduated into the 50s. So now we're playing with them. We're a little, I'm a little on the older side, um, but still want to play with them because they're just great people and great people to play with, great teammates. Although they missed the last couple of years, the team is grateful to be back and they love coming to the events. Super, super yeah. excited. Yeah. So awesome. We missed it. We missed definitely it. missed it. Yeah. The organization for the Huntsman game is like top notch. Uh, the volunteers, all the effort that goes on behind the scenes that you know a lot of people don't see and don't know about. I mean Utah, St. George have done a wonderful job and we love the scenery. Yeah. Right? We're kicking butt this afternoon and we're going for gold tomorrow. But we respect yeah. the competition. <laughs> Anything can happen in this game. Yes. Yeah. Hey! In the men's 70 plus A blue division, another team from Canada managed to gather together enough team members to compete. Well, it's our second year. It was four years ago, pre-COVID, of course. And uh, we're almost exclusively Kamloops players. We have 11. So we're pretty short-handed, but um, you know we're we're all still enjoying ourselves and trying to <laughs> keep injury-free as much as possible. Let's just go out there and, and do our best. Uh, uh, well, I want to say we had a great year. I enjoyed it, and thank you very much. You all know that this is the end for me, so. Uh, Let's go out and stop, okay? After playing all week, they may be a little tired, but are ready to okay. give it their all. The Kamloops Sharks competed against the Michigan Seniors of Detroit. Nice While the competition was tough, 
they managed to pull out the win with a score of 16 to 11 to go on to play more games. It's been wonderful. I've never played with a group of guys that has been more fun. So uh, it's just been wonderful. I, I put my name on the list and they called and said, uh, you know, we've only got 10 guys that should come and play with us. And I said, well, listen, you're all younger than me and I don't know how much I can contribute, but uh, if you think you want me, I'd be just tickled to death to come and it's been a great experience. Wait, get the third! Wait, get the third! How do you think you're gonna do today? We're gonna win. We're gonna win three. That's confidence. Yeah. However, they later lost to Vero, but still came home with a silver medal. Go Sharks! Another team that was thankful to come back was this team from Hawaii as they took the gold medal in their division this year.